Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with blue screen of death error IRQL not less or equal BSOD. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, I will make you one thing very clear that the said error is occurred either because of the confliction in the software due to the latest update or because of the failing in hardware such as your RAM sticks. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. Now here in this video, I will show you both the ways either you are able to log in into the system or if you are not able to log in into the system, I will provide you the resolution for both the scenarios. So first of all, if you are able to log in, right click on start menu and choose the option device manager. If you have recently updated your driver, simply expand that particular driver, right click and choose the option properties, hit driver tab. And if rollback option is available, click on the option rollback driver to rollback your driver to the previously stable state to fix out the issue of IRQL not less or equal. Nextly is if you have unplugged any external device to a system such as any Xbox console, PS5, external keyboard, external mouse, anything, make sure you plug all the external devices from your system and then start your PC and check you are still getting the issue of IRQL. Hopefully unplugging the devices will fix out the issue for you. If this also fails, let's proceed by checking the RAM of your system. I suggest you to remove one of the sticks from your system. After removing a single stick, go ahead, restart your system and use your system as it is and check if you are still getting the BSOD, IRQL, not less or equal. If you are still getting the BSOD, go ahead, replace the RAM stick. After replacing, Again try to use your system normally and check for the IRQL not less or equal BSOD. If your system is now running smoothly then you know that the issue is with your RAM stick and you need to replace one of the RAM sticks to fix out the issue of IRQL not less or equal BSOD issue. Now if this method also failed let's proceed with the next step. This next step is for those who are not able to log in into your system and they keep on getting the blue screen IRQL not less or equal BSOD. Go ahead, restart your PC, turn off your PC using the power button and then turn it on. And once windows attempt to load, I mean whenever the spinning dots started to come up, just go ahead, press and hold the power button again for at least 10 seconds until your system turn off. As soon as your system turn off, go ahead and turn it on and once the spinning circle started, again hold and press your power button for 10 to 15 seconds to turn off your PC. You need to do this step 3 to 4 times and then your windows will start in the recovery mode and a screen startup which is saying diagnosing your PC. I hope you understood. So I'll go ahead and do the steps as I have told you right over here. Here comes the screen preparing automatic repair. Diagnosing your PC. Now this means I have restarted my system correctly using the power button. Now after diagnosing your PC, you will see a screen like this automatic repair. From here you need to click on the option advanced options. Now click on the option troubleshoot. Now here click on the option advanced options and select command prompt. Select your username, if you have entered any password, enter the password, else click on the continue to open the command prompt. Now here you need to type here few commands. First one is boot rack space slash fix boot and then hit the enter key. If it is giving you access is denied, type here boot sec t space slash nt60 space sys then hit the enter key. Now again type the same command, boot rack space slash fix boot and hit the enter key. Now type another command, boot rack space slash fix MBR. Now third command is boot rack space slash rebuild BCD and then hit the enter key. It will start to scan. Now it is showing that total identified windows installation is zero. Now at your end if it is showing that identified windows installation is 1, under it, it will ask you a question to type in either Y, N or A. So you need to type the A as I have shown right over here, 
to select all the installation and then hit the enter key. Once done, type exit. Now go ahead, restart your PC and check if you are still getting the error code. If this failed to work out, let's proceed with the next step. The last step you can do is to open up your browser. From here, you need to use someone else PC. And here is a program with the name Hiren Boot. Scroll down and here is a download link. You need to download this ISO file into your system. I will go ahead and cancel it because I have already downloaded. Once downloaded, you need to download another program with the name Rufus. Scroll down and download the latest version, save it into your system. Once it is saved, run the Rufus. From here, you need to select your pen drive and click on the option select. Provide the path of the program that we have just downloaded. I have downloaded it to my D drive, Windows and here is Hiren Boot. Double click to OK it. From here, click on the start option. Once you hit the start button, it will start to create a bootable USB which will help you all the startup issues including this BSOD IRQL. I will go ahead and proceed to show you how it works. Now after creating the bootable drive, go ahead and use this USB drive to give boot to your system. I will go ahead and proceed to give boot using this newly created bootable drive. From here, you need to open the utilities folder and here find the option of Windows Recovery. Double click to open it and here is a software with the name LaserSoft Windows Recovery. Double click to run it. Now hit the OK button. From here, all the fixes will be shown right in front of you. One click, boot crash, loading crash, random crash. So first of all, I suggest you to go with one click fix crash solutions. Click on it and click on the option one click fix. Once it is done, hit the finish button. Now go ahead, restart your PC and check if you are still getting the issue of IRQL not less or equal. If the error is still there, again click on this welcome screen and you need to try these different solutions. For example, boot crash, loading crash, random crash. These are the different crashing solutions that help you fix out the issue of IRQL not less or equal BSOD. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.